As members of this committee, it is our collective responsibility to uphold the highest standards of integrity, transparency, and accountability. We must adhere strictly to the principles of good governance and ethical conduct in all our dealings, particularly in matters related to financial management, procurement, and contract execution. I urge all of us to remain vigilant and report any suspicious activities or violations of our policies and procedures. We must work together to identify and address any instances of misappropriation, non-execution of contracts, or breaches of procurement acts. Let us reaffirm our commitment to upholding the values of honesty, fairness, and accountability in all aspects of our work. By doing this, we can ensure the continued success and sustainability of our democracy under the leadership of Ashura Jubola and Metinumbu. Everybody here knows that our, minist our ministry is, uh, uh, we, we don't have funds. We are underfunded. I came here, immediately I assumed office. I met no penny in that ministry, but I must have to deliver something in 100 days as the target, deliverable target. And I w came to our chairman, I explained my predicament to, him, to her, and she said that we're going to help us to get funds. At the end of the day, it did not work. At the, at, at the end of the day, it did not work. We are underfunded. There are so many things that come into that ministry, like travels that you'll be ordered from the presidency to go. You have to fund it from the ministry when it was not appropriated for. And those things must be done. That was why some of these issues came up. And that's one of the reasons we have on ongoing projects for funds for 2024. If not that they didn't release these monies on time, all these things would, be, would have been a thing of the past. I expected that a good understanding, knowing what the Minister of Women Affairs has been going through. I'm going out of my way to make sure with the directors and the PAMSEC that we achieve something for Nigerian women, knowing how they are suffering. Everybody is suffering. We know that. But we are all from that APC party and the government at large working towards solving these issues. So I was thinking that what we came here to do, how do we solve the problems? Because we are not here, how do we solve the problems? And I have a solution, I have a solution to how we solve the problems. The, the, the director, I have a solution to how we solve this problem. When those their contracts were awarded, I was not there. It was awarded about around the, um, um, March, May, March to May and I was not there. But when I came in, like I said, I made no money. I must have to look into things before we forge ahead. And I saw so many things that does not com uh, 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 concur with the renewed hope agenda that I was brought in to do the work. I called them and we changed the narratives. We've been doing so many works that are not just contracts. And I was thinking with time, we'll organize ourselves and pay them.